Well, hey there, friends. This is Jennifer Allwood, and I'm excited to share another video with you today. So I teach women how to use social media to make money online while keeping their faith and family um, of utmost priority because um, building a business is fun, right? Building a business is exciting. It can do amazing things to your checkbook. But if you lose the things that are important to you in the process, like of what value is that? So, um, oh, my my desk is messy, but we're just going to go with it because the content is good. Okay, so we're going to talk today about um, a question that I asked on Instagram about how can I help you most right now? And a lot of people were saying, how do I get balance in my time? If I'm working a nine to five, like how do I find time to work um, on my side gig, on my side hustle and build that into a real legit business as well? And so I want to give you some strategies um, for doing both. There was a period of time 20 years ago when I did both, when I worked full time and I built a business and then I stayed home for 10 10 years and uh, built the business, worked the business from home while raising babies. And so it's completely possible to do either of those things. But there are some things that you're going to have to keep in mind. So number one, if you're going to be trying to work a nine to five and build a business or raise babies and build a business, um, the first thing you've got to do is only to be focusing on the income generating activities in your business. See, sometimes we get stuck on things like the perfect logo. We get down on rabbit trails of... Um, how you're going to start blogging. And the truth is you don't even have a Facebook page started yet. It's, it's focusing on the wrong things. It's, um, it's, it's not paying attention to the things that are actually going to move the needle in your business. And so I want you to just focus on, okay, what's going to make money in my nine to five or in my, um, in my side hustle. So you're going to need a Facebook page. You're going to need at least one other social media, and you're going to need someplace that people can give you their debit card that they can, that they can buy from you. Like if you don't have that, if you don't have a way for people to give you money, then you're just like playing with a hobby and it's not actually a business. The only way you'll ever get out of that nine to five is to make that side hustle something that is sustainable and to make that something that is profitable. And so you have to have a way for people to give you money online. So if you're like, well, how do I set up my perfect Pinterest account? Unless you're sending people from Pinterest back to your sales page, like don't even worry about how beautiful it is. Don't even worry about all the titles of your different boards and how they're arranged. That is not things that are difference makers. And you have to, when you have just this much time, you have to be so intentional on spending that time only on the things that are going to be actually income generating. Get out of some of those Facebook groups that you really don't like anyway, really don't like the people in there. You're just in there because you might catch a nugget of information, but you don't even realize you're sucking 30 minutes a day just reading through things that will not help you in the long run. Or at least they won't help you in the, in the right now to be starting to get some money in your pocket. So um, do that. Don't be like on some rabbit trails of looking at everybody else's blog. Figure out, you know, what you need to do to put some things into place that maybe you can get yours started eventually and be making some ad revenue income from that. Um, don't be worried about just surfing Pinterest for what's coming up for back to school projects. I mean, that's fine and dandy when you're not working, but when you're working, you're only looking at Pinterest from a business perspective on how you're going to monetize it, how you're going to push traffic to places that people can buy from you, but there's zero time for just playing around. Right now is the time just to focus on the income generating activities. Point number two, I want you to block off uninterrupted time in your schedule of when your head is down and you're working. So for a lot of us, that's going to mean taking this and putting it in a drawer because um, this is so distracting to business building. It's so distracting. And I know that if it's sitting here and it's dinging and I'm seeing somebody in my coaching group has a question, I'm going to want to answer it. I'm seeing that somebody just texted me. I just got a DM. Um, I got a Voxer from one of the people that's on my team. Like if I hear those things, I might be working, but sub <coughs> subconsciously I'm going, okay, what am I missing? What do I need to be focusing on? And so for me, I have to put it away. I have to turn all the notifications off and I have to put it away so that I can get my head down. Now, before coronavirus, I used to tell people, go to the local library, like skip Starbucks. Because for me, Starbucks, I do people watching. I'm looking at her cute shirt and her cute glasses. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I think I know that guy from church. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening in on other conversations. So a place like Starbucks, a coffee shop never worked for me. What always has worked for me is a library. You want to know why? The boring, the quiet, the Wi-Fi is terrible. 
So essentially you can do brain dumps there. You can get information out of your brain there. If you have a library open locally, go. And if you don't figure out, okay, where can you go to where you are alone and can put your head down and work without interruption for a, for this amount of time, I had a business coach once that, um, I was telling her I didn't have enough time to do, you know, all the things I needed to do. And she said, okay, I'm going to tell you what, you're going to track your time in 30 minute increments for the next three days and then come back and we'll talk about how you're spending your time. Interesting how much time I was spending just looking at other people's Instagram profiles or um, literally just reading articles. I'd go on Facebook to post, you know, something on my business page and then I would end up reading everything for the comments from people. And then I would end up going to look at this complete stranger's Facebook profile. And then I go down this rabbit trail because I see we have, you know, a, a mutual friend. And before you know it, an hour's gone. And when you're business building and you have just this much time because you have a nine to five, you have kids, like you don't have the luxury of messing around. You don't, you have to get your head down and be super duper focused. So, um, I need you to realize too, that balance is a lie. I have always said that balance is for gymnastics and your checkbook, but the idea of finding balance in family and work, it's really hard. There are times when you're going to have to push on the gas with business in order to feed your family. There's times when you're going to have to let off the gas on your business and focus completely on your family because that should be your first priority. And so try to, try to just give up the idea of attaining a perfect balance and know that if you put down your head for a certain amount of time right now and really focus on income generating things and focus on what you need to get this business off the ground, that it could perhaps release you from that nine to five in the future, which will give you more time to serve your family. And so, but Right now, figure out how you can get uninterrupted time. Figure out how you can do things like schedule your Facebook posts. By the way, you're only scheduling them inside of the Facebook app. Facebook hates it when you use any third-party scheduler. They don't want you going outside <coughs> using any other app. They want you using the Facebook app to schedule. Do that. If you're scheduling on Instagram, you can use something like Later. That's what we use. They're not going to penalize you um, for doing that. But it, it's helpful to like sit down and do all of your content. We do our content one week at a time, one week in advance. So we plan everything one week in advance. And, um, and that way I don't have to be doing that on a daily basis. I sit down and I chunk. Does that make sense? Um, there's sometimes that I will chunk, I'll batch record a bunch of my podcasts for the Jennifer Allwood show. When you're kind of like in the groove and you're kind of in the mode, that's a great time. And a great way to save money is by just really having uninterrupted blocked off time. I only have two tips other than the other thing is don't do it alone. That would be my third tip. Don't do it alone. There are so many business building groups out there. I have my own. If you're interested, um, you can go, uh, send me a DM on Instagram. Um, you can go to jenniferallwood.com slash grow, which is my social accelerator, which gives you like when you're just starting out, it's going to give you all the tips that you need for Facebook and Instagram right off the bat. It's going to give you, um, uh, just some ideas, some launching points of things that you can be doing on social media so that you're not like scrambling so that you're not like, Oh gosh, what do I post now? It's been a week and I know I need to be posting. So you can find that at jenniferallwood.com slash grow, but I would love to have you in our coaching group. If you're not in my group, get in another one. If you're thinking that you can build this business completely on free groups and the content you get there, I'm going to say, no, you can't because see where your money goes. So does your attention. And sometimes even as an act of, um, as a spiritual discipline, there needs to be a sowing into something so that there can be a reaping. See the enemy sometimes knows, and this was not in my plans to talk about this on my YouTube channel today. So I'm going to guess that this is a word from someone. The enemy sometimes knows when we're just playing, he knows when we're just messing around, we're saying we're trying to build something, but we're not, but something happens when you actually start treating that business as a business and no longer treat it as a hobby. When you actually give it a name, when you actually sow some seed into it, you sow some money into it by way of a paid group, by way of taking a course. And it's basically like kind of telling the enemy, you know what? No, I'm serious this time, this time I'm serious. And it also proves to yourself 
that this time you're serious and that you're really going to do things to try to get out of that nine to five and make that side hustle completely your day gig. And so I want you to know that it's possible and it's going to take a little bit of a hustle and it's going to take a little bit of intentional work. And it, and, and I'm not all about that hustle life for long-term because that's not sustainable, but in the beginning, when you're trying to do two things, if you've got that nine to five and you're trying to do that, make that hobby into your full-time gig, you're going to have to make some discipline. You're going to have to be super intentional with your time, and you're really going to have to invest in getting from A to B quicker. So I hope that that's super helpful today. I hope that you're going to subscribe to my channel. I hope that you'll say hi to my little peanut, Ariana. Can you say hi to the YouTube? Hi. Hi. And, um, you know, this is one of the reasons why I, um, I work from home. I've got four kiddos and, um, and I want them to have mom's attention as much as possible. And it's just my heart's desire to teach other people how to use the internet to do the same. You can build a business from home. It will require some work. If you get, if you're getting anybody giving you a get rich quick scheme, um, ignore them. But if you focus on the right things that are generating money and you figure out how to keep your attention span where it needs to be and you invest in things like coaching for yourself, that's a winning combination. And I'm rooting for you. Bless you, my friends. Bye-bye. Can you tell them bye, Ari? Bye. Bye.